Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a Java utility called Key Tool. I will start with a small introduction on Key Tool, followed by a demo on how to use it. So, what is a Key Tool? Well, Key Tool is a Java utility. The executable file for this utility is packaged with Java. It can be found in both JRE and JDK. Key tool is widely used for key and certificate management. You can use key tool to generate keys and certificate, make changes to it, and delete it when it's not required anymore. Key tool uses a database called Keystore for storing keys and certificates. So, what is a key store, you might ask? Well, a key store is simply a database file that key tool uses for storing keys and certificate. This key store file can also be accessed by a Java-based application to store or retrieve keys from it. Key store file is password protected and encrypted. However, the encryption method used by a key store may depend on the type of key store being used. There's also something known as a trust store. Trust store is different from key store as they are only meant to store certificates from trusted certificate authorities or CA. Uh, they would never contain a private key or secret key stored in them. So if you try to access uh, your trust store on your computer, you would most likely see root certificates from trusted certificate authorities such as DigiCert, Entrust, VeriSign, GlobalSign, or even some other vendors like Oracle or Microsoft. Now, these are the uh, different types of key store that I will be talking about in this video. Let's start with JKS, also known as Java Key Store. Now, this is a default key store for Java. This key store can only store private keys and certificates. This is the least secure key store as encryption method being used isn't very strong enough as per today's standard. Therefore, it should not be used in production for storing sensitive keys. Next, we have JCEKS, where JCE stands for Java Cryptography Extension. JCEKS is a superset for JKS. Unlike JKS, JCEKS allows you to store secret keys along with private keys and certificate. JCEKS uses a technique called PBE, password-based encryption, to derive encryption key based on the password being used. Encryption method used by JCEKS is also not strong enough as per today's standard, therefore it should not be used in production. Next we have PKCS12. JKS and JCEKS are both related to Java which means they can only be used with a Java-based application. PKCS12, however, can be used with a Java-based application as well as a non-Java-based application. For example, if you have a PFX file that you're already using with your Java application, you can use that same PFX file with your .NET application. The encryption method used by a PFX file or a PKCS12 format key store is generated using PBKDF2 or password-based key derivation format 2 mechanism. PKCS12 may use test 3 or AS algorithm for encryption depending on how you create them. PKCS12 provides stronger security compared to JKS and JCEKS and that is one reason why the newer versions of Java such as Java 11 recommends using PKCS12 key store instead of JKS or JCEKS. Next we have PKCS11 key store. This type of key store is used with hardware based devices such as USB tokens, smart cards and hardware security modules. Two examples, of Sun, uh, two examples are Sun PKCS11 and IBM PKCS11. PKCS11 offers the highest level of protection for your keys as your keys are not stored in a file. They are stored in a hardware device with a highly restricted access. For example, 
if you are using Sun PKC 11 with a smart card, you could simply generate your keys and certificate on it. You could then use it and when you're finished with your work, unplug it and store it in a safe place. That's how secure it is. Then we have Windows My and Windows Root. This key store is used for accessing Windows Certificate Store. Although I have not seen anyone using this key store that much, I myself never use this key store. In this type of key store, Windows My gives you access to User Store and Windows Root gives you access to Root Certificates. And then we have some third party key store providers or third party security providers who provide their own key store solution. For example, Bouncy Castle and IIK provider. There are also some HSM vendors who provide their own security providers for Java. These providers may have their own key store type with more enhanced features and security. Now let's run some key tool commands to see how they work in real life. I am now logged into my Linux uh, virtual machine and over here in this folder I have four files. Now I have already created some key stores, don't worry about how I created them. My next video is going to be all about creating key store. In this video we'll just focus on uh, key stores in general. All right. So I have mystore.jcks, mystore.jks, mystore.p12 and p11.cfg. As you might have already guessed uh, by the extensions, uh, what type of key stores they are. This one is a pkzs12 key store. This one is a Java key store and this is a JCE KS key store. Please note that the extensions for these files does not have to be the way I am using. It does not matter what extension you use. I generally use an extension which is easier for me to identify uh, what type of key store I am using. Okay, so let's start with the our, uh, our first com uh, command. So it's key to list dash key store and the name of the key store. Let's start with JKS. It goes my password. There it is. As you can see from the extension, this key store file type is JKS. The provider is Sun. There is just one entry in this key store, which is actually a private key entry. If you don't already know this, private key entry is a combo of a private key and an associated certificate. This is the uh, thumbprint of that certificate. We also see a warning over here that says the JKS key store uses a proprietary format. It is recommended to migrate to PKCS12, which is an industry blah, blah, blah. So if you remember in, uh, in the slides that I was presenting, I mentioned that JKS uh, is Java specific, which means it can only be used with a Java based application. Also JKS uses a very weak encryption and it is not secure enough as per today's standard, so it should not be used. So that's why PKCS 12 is the recommended format for your key store. And there's also a, a command over here that shows how to migrate your key store from JKS to PKCS 12. Let's run the same command with uh, our JCKS key store. So I'll bring that command JCE KS. Now, when I run this com uh, command, I'm getting an error that says key tool error java.io.exception invalid key store format. Now, I'm getting this error because Java or key tool is not able to identify what type of key store it is. It is assuming that I am using a JKS key store. If you remember, I mentioned that uh, JKS is supposed to be the default key store for Java. So in the event when you don't specify the type of key store, it will automatically assume that your key store that you're using is a JKS key store. I can fix this problem by simply mentioning the store type as JCEKS. It's asking for the password. 
and there it is now look at this output so in the previous uh, command we were seeing jks as a key store type now we are seeing jceks as the uh, key store type it is using sun jce provider and there are two entries so there's a private key entry and this is the alias of that private key this is the certificate and I also have a secret key entry I actually created a, an AS 256 bit key this is the alias of that key and again we are also seeing the same warning as before well not the same but similar warning so it says JCKS key store is a proprietary format and it's the same reason that I mentioned uh, over here. So JCKS is also Java specific. It is not secured enough. So you should not be using it. You should instead use PKCS 12. And this is the, uh, the command to migrate your key store. Now let's try the same command with our P12 key. So P12 and of course i have to mention the store type as pkcs12 enter the password okay so key store type pkcs12 the key store provider being used is sun jsse and there are two entries in this file there is a, a private key and this is the alias this is the certificate and i also have a secret key uh, and this is the alias of that key if you notice uh, with JKS and JCEKS we were seeing where is it um, okay here it is we were seeing a warning we don't see that warning anymore with uh, PKCS 12 so like I said PKCS 12 is uh, comparatively much secure than JCE and uh, JKS so it is recommended to use PKCS 12 key store and finally the last uh, key store that we have for today's video is Sun PKCS 11 we will be using p11.cfg file now p11.cfg file is not really a key store it's actually a, a configuration file which i'm supposed to use with sun pkcs 11. sun pkcs 11 does not need a key store it only needs a configuration file which has all the settings uh, let me show you what this file looks like so this is the configuration file for sun pkcs 11 uh, by the way, I am using a cloud-based uh, hardware security module on this uh, Linux machine and uh, I will be using that HSM with uh, Sun PKCS 11. So let me execute this command and show you what it looks like. Keytool-list-keystore none because we are not using any key store. Store type is going to be PKCS 11 provider class is sun.security.pkcs11 sunpkcs11 and provider arg p11.cfg it should ask me for the password this is cloud-based hsm so that's why it's a little bit slow enter the password uh, load failed is the syntax correct um, oh I'm sorry I entered wrong password I have a different password for my cloud HSM because the password for cloud HSM and here's the output so key store type pkcs11 key store provider is sun pkcs11 cloud HSM and at the moment I don't have any keys stored in cloud HSM that's why we see zero entries 
That's all I have for you on key tool in this video. My next video is going to be about creating different types of key stores and storing keys in them. I hope you found this video to be informative. Please use the comment section if you have a question. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more and hopefully I will see you in the next video.